How's it going boys? Johnny Spur Man back here with you this time to try and teach you how to defend the cross crease, a very common play in NHL 12. So let's stop wasting time and get right out there. Okay, so there seems to be a bunch of confusion out there on which is the best way to block a cross creaser. Now what I do, I watch the computers and what do they do? They don't press the LB button, they don't dive at it, they don't try to poke it, okay? They simply stand there and intercept the puck and that's what you want to do. Simply try to get in the passing lane, hold down the left trigger, and intercept the puck, just like the computer. It's the best way. So look at this play. I'll slow it down for you guys. They're coming in on the right side. Now what I want to do is, I'm the defenseman. I want to pick up their forward that has the potential cross crease, okay? You want to get in that passing lane. You don't want to shadow them. You want to make sure you're in the middle of that passing lane. So if the forward passes it, you're right there holding down the left trigger, and you'll intercept the puck. Again, it's very simple. All you have to do is stand there, hold down the left trigger, don't push any other buttons, and be patient. Wait for the pass to hit your stick. Now here's an example of a play you do not want to do if you want to block the cross crease. Look here. The puck is behind their net, and we have two of our forwards pinching. But look, two of their defenders are behind the net, and then the rest of their team are off on the half boards, way up at the blue line, waiting for a breakaway. There's nobody in the slot. It's wide open. What happens if we get the puck? Well, I'll show you. We do get the puck with a solid four check. Nobody in the slot. Rebound. Goal is scored. As a defender, you always want to be there, boys. Here's another example of a play you do not want to try and do to block a cross crease. Diving at it. If you're facing a good, patient team and they see you dive, they will take advantage of you. Do not dive at anything. Now, for everyone who tries to block the cross crease using the LB button, stop it. Stop it immediately. It's horrible, and it's horrible for two reasons. First off, if you do it, you're going to freeze, and if the player goes short side, you won't be able to use the body check. Secondly, even if you do block it, look here. The puck hits your stick or your skate and bounces out to a random position, okay? That's just as dangerous as the cross crease itself. Look here again. Player deeks in. Guy goes down in the LB, pass comes, deflects off his skate right at the goalie. He has to make a save, all right? That is not a consistent way to block cross creases. It's going to hurt you just as much as it helps you, all right? So this is what you want to do again. Stay patient, hold down the left trigger, get in the passing lane, get that puck. And look, when you intercept it, I have possession of the puck. You can get the puck out of your zone. Very safe. Now defenders, listen up. When the other team is rushing on you, you do not want to get crossed up. Look here. Both defenders chase our center, leaving the right winger wide open. You always have to have someone in the slot, okay? So get to know your other defender. Get some chemistry going. This is what you want to do. Look here. I get beat by the forward. Domsky swings in and I take the cross crease. See that quick switch? We know what we're going to do out there. You always have to have in mind, block that cross crease. Okay, so we took care of the defenseman. Now, you centers, listen up. It's just as much your responsibility to block those cross creasers as the defenseman. You're the third defender, so stay in that high slot and cover your area. Okay, so here's a perfect example of a center not taking care of his defensive responsibilities. We dump the puck in, and our center picks up the puck. Now look, there's no chance for a cross crease. They're doing a good job. They've collapsed. They got three, they got three players in the slot. No chance for a cross crease. But look what we do. We move it back to the point, and now I have it. And look, look at the seam open up right there in the high slot. They're too far back. Pass it over, shot scored, okay? That's just as much a cross creaser as the other ones, all right? You cannot blame your goalie for that. You got to cover the whole slot, the high and the low. Okay, boys, so remember, the cross crease is going to happen a lot in NHL 12. Don't get mad at it. Don't call it a glitch. Don't blame your goalie, okay? Simply know what you have to do. Don't poke check. Don't press LB. Hold down the left trigger and get in that passing lane, all right? Boys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to defend the cross crease. For Johnny Superman and the great Domsky, plenty more to come, and we'll see you soon.